Hey, so welcome back to the Gothic Arts channel. Uh, today we have some Star Wars news to go over. Just a couple kind of small things. I wanted to just put them all together in a video, let you know what's going on. Uh, the first thing and probably the biggest thing to talk about right now is uh, Ewan McGregor on Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi film. There's no plans to do it. So he just came out today and said uh, there were no plans to move forward with this film, at least that he knows of. Which is, of course, bad news because we all want an Obi-Wan Kenobi film. We all love Obi-Wan. He's my favorite character, so um, I think that they should have taken Obi-Wan and done like a trilogy in between episodes 3 and 4. But, yeah, this is, this is kind of, uh, <laughs> this isn't good news for Star Wars fans. I was hoping to hear the exact opposite after after all the stuff that uh, they, they've put us through, you know what I mean? This article is by Alt Press by uh, Beth Castile. It says, after months of speculation, Ewan McGregor shared with The View, I don't know why he was on The View, but that a solo flick with the character wasn't in the works to his knowledge. I would totally do it, of course, the actor shared and when asked about returning to the series. There's no plans as such to do it as far as I know. The news comes as a bit of a shock. In past reports, we heard that there was talk of a spinoff detailing Obi-Wan's adventures. Yeah, a uh, new hope was in the works. While we aren't getting a solo flick with Obi-Wan, you can still be sure to catch that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's, uh, that's, that's not good, man. Hopefully they are actually planning something, you know, Disney, um, and they just maybe haven't told the actors yet because there might be some stuff going on. Uh, Lucasfilm maybe redoing some things with the management. Hopefully it is still in the works and they just haven't said anything to Ewan about it. But um, every single report that I've seen w about him, he's he's always like really excited to come back as Obi-Wan. And I mean, he wants it and all the fans want it. So I don't see why it couldn't happen. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on that. The next thing I want to talk about is Dave Filoni is not involved in Star Wars Resistance day to day. So Star Wars Resistance is this new like anime style, um, it, like in a Star Wars animation TV show. You probably already know about it. It takes place between episode six and seven. This article is saying Lucasfilm currently has two animated projects in the works with Star Wars Resistance and The Clone Wars. Filoni has become a master in Star Wars animation with Rebels and the Clone Wars under his belt and now oversees all animated projects at the studio. Yeah, we all love our Dave Filoni. Um, Lucasfilm announced Resistance back in April, an anime-styled series taking place between Return of the Jedi Force Awakens. I just said that. While Filoni is the creator of the new series, he reveals to IGN that he won't be involved with the show day to day. Dave Filoni says... Uh, Resistance is a bit different in that I'm not on that day to day. I created and set it in motion, but I've given that to other people to raise up. People that I've worked with a long time who think I deserve, who I think deserve the opportunity to tell stories, and I think is exciting. And I give them my thoughts and notes. I was just doing that this morning. So it's looking like behind the scenes, Dave Filoni is kind of acting like a George Lucas type character there. And then he goes on to say, then obviously the Clone Wars, I'm very much in the weeds on that. I don't have to be because I myself have to go back and watch a whole bunch of stuff that I had done. And I went back and watched Revenge of the Sith and Attack of the Clones in depth again. I'm like, I have to upload this whole timeline. Just the intricacy of how the clones got made and where Dooku was and all of those things were stuff that I was just doing from memory at the time because I was in it. Then I switched time periods and went on and did Star Wars Rebels. So I go back into the Clone Wars. I have to remember, wait, where was everybody? How did that work? And had charts and figure all this stuff out. But I've uploaded the chip now, so I'm good. So it's looking like they have him really involved with the Clone Wars. Whenever I first heard about this Star Wars Resistance show, I was actually... Like, I don't really like the time period when it's taking place, but um, I was excited because, you know, Dave Filoni... Clone Wars, uh, Rebels is back to make a new show. And I know that the stuff that he, he's in charge of and he does is good. But it looks like he's not even going to be involved that much. So, But we'll see, you know. I'm hoping this uh, Disney streaming service is maybe just going to be like an add-on to Hulu or something. So that, you know, I'm not going to have to pay uh, too much more money for this. 
but I'll be watching that show. There is talk in the fandom that speculating that Dave Filoni might be gearing up for to take on a big, bigger projects. So I hope that that's true. And then the third thing we have to talk about today is what is this? Yes, a new picture just came out from the set of episode nine. This article is from Cinema Blend by Dirk Libby. What's oh this isn't updated. Wait a minute. Oh wait, hold on folks. This is an update to this article. Earlier today a picture flew around the internet that was posted by Star Wars is Dan Mindel. It appeared to be set with some lights in the upcoming Star Wars episode nine. Fans on Twitter got excited, which caused many outlets to get excited and run stories. Like this one apparently. Upon further review, however, it seems the picture in question is actually a still from John Carter, which Dan Mendel also worked on. There's nothing like Star Wars to generate more aggressive opinions, to both pro and con, and to generate lengthy think pieces about a set photo that's actually from a different movie. Okay, so, uh, well, I was going to talk about this. This was a, um, hold on, let's, uh, let's go ahead and enhance that image so you can see it. But I guess it doesn't even matter anymore because... Yeah. Anyway, so I guess that's from John Carter of Mars. I saw that movie. It did not do well in the theaters. <laughs> I thought it was entertaining. I don't know. Yeah, so, uh, okay. Well, there's the picture that's not from Star Wars Episode Nine. So, anyway, so there's uh, two Star Wars news things for you to think about. I really do hope that they put this back on track maybe after they clean up uh, whatever's going on there at Lucasfilm. Get that Obi-Wan movie started, and we'll see what happens with the... Uh, our buddy Dave Filoni. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do videos like this all the time. Try to I try to have one out uh, every weekday at least, sometimes on the weekends. So yeah, if you see anything else of interest that you want me to talk about or do a video on, just uh, send me. I'm on Twitter all the time. Just uh, shoot me a DM and we'll talk about it over there. I hope you have a good one and I'll see you next time.